Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Forging. This episode of Tips and Tricks, I'd like to show you how to light a fire. Um, so, what's important to do before you light the fire is get yourself prepped. Um, I like to use crisp packets as fire lighters. Uh, they get started pretty good. Um, they take a little bit to get going, but once they're going, they burn quite well. You need a lighter or some sort of fire source, and then prep yourself some wood. I sort of cut, um, I sort of cut myself a couple of. Um, this is a this is a pre-dried timber. It's just it's just spare. It's kicking around, um, and I've chopped it up into about uh, three eighths by three inch pieces. Um, so ten mil by seventy five mil long pieces. Uh, maybe 100 mil long pieces. It just depends. It doesn't really. It's not really that important. Um, but a good handful there to get it started. Now I use coke. Um, coke's notoriously hard to light, and so is coal. Um, so you could just, you could mix a little bit of charcoal in. You could use fire lighters. But basically, the premise is something that starts burning easy at, at a lower temperature that builds a very high temperature. That then lights something that needs a slightly higher temperature and then builds that that then in turn lights lights coke which is this stuff here uh, coke's a reduced reduced coal so basically it's been baked in an oxygen free environment this way of thinking it it's like the charcoal version of coal um, so yeah that's basically what i use i'm going to get the camera set up so we can see the video oh yeah there's one other thing I cheat a little bit, and this is a this is a piece of oil motor oil soaked rag on the end of a stick, and um, I find this just keeps the temperature up a little bit. Um, but you don't have to do this; you can do it this way. It's fa um, fairly easy. So, uh, first thing to do is to light the um, crisp packet. Just use a lighter for this. You can use fire lighters; they're just as good. Right. Just going to place that on top of the oily rag. Then I'm going to take my wood. And I'm going to lay it in a, in a pattern like this. And this, this ensures that there's loads of airflow coming through. Put slightly thinner pieces at the bottom and then slightly thicker pieces at the top as I go up. You can mix and match that a little bit. And then I take the coke. And just bring it in round the wood. Now I put the air on. 